today you'll be adding borders to your sketchbook pages. A few little tricks to follow are to add glue to the strips of paper, making sure you're leaning on the table and not your book. Fill the whole strip with glue on one side and then place that in position on your sketchbook, working out where you'd like it to appear, where you'd like that to be stuck and place that on. Using your scissors, you're going to then just lift the page slightly and you're just going to trim the edges off. Just giving yourself a really neat edge. Try not to fold them over because we will work on the opposite side of the page, but just really neatly cut those so you've got a nice uh, quality and a nice detail on there. Again, adding glue onto the table, meaning your strip on the table, adding glue on the whole back of that particular piece placing it on in position and then making sure that you're trimming the edges and not folding them over. Make sure that you press that down flat so that it's definitely stuck onto the page. And for the front cover, it'd be nice to create something like this where it's like a backwards L shape and all of your information, your title, your name and so on will go here. Okay, any extra strips that you've got, you can use these for decoration. So you can cross over um, and create some pattern and detail. You can also have the strips coming down from the top, creating your own interesting pattern and detail and quality. Uh, there are also two different ways to add your title. One way is that you'll use the printout and you'll present them as they are. So I'm going to experiment with some ripped edges. I've already cut the top and the bottom really straight. And then I'm actually going to present that on my book on a strip of paper so that it creates like a banner effect and a title across that section. So first thing is I need to present my paper that's going to form the base so i'm going to add glue onto the back remembering to lean on the table i'm going to place that in position and i'm actually going to place it right across the page and i'm going to trim the edge i'm going to add glue to the back of my title so this is a quick and easy way of adding a title um, it's if you've got less time to produce these, um, this is the best way of adding the titles using the fancy fonts that have been printed out for you and using just straight and ripped edges. Another way of adding a title is to work with a transfer technique. So this is for the students who want to almost handwrite their titles on. You can transfer these on using the printouts as well. So you'll add pencil marks to the back because it's the pencil that will transfer as you draw it through. Just on the back of where the letters and numbers are. And then you'll place that on the paper or on the page where you'd like it to be positioned. So I'm going to place mine down at the bottom here. And then using my pencil or using a biro pen, you will just draw around the letters that you see. And I'm just gently shading in wherever the letter is a little bit thicker so that I know when I use my fine liner over the top exactly where the line should be heavier and where they should be thinner. So I'm just going to draw around the number nine as well and just add in those on and those will transfer as you can see here and then just using my fine liner and referring to that title uh, referring to that font, I'm just going to draw around it once again and I'm just going to add that detail on. So I'm thickening up the lines, I'm shading in where I can see the lines are thicker and I'm keeping them a lot finer where the lines are more like a single line. And that will be repeated for the whole of that font and I add that as neatly as I possibly can. If at any point you make a little mistake, so for instance here, uh, the line I kind of went a little bit too thick, best thing to do is just work with it. Don't worry about it. Don't think that you need to start again. Just work with it, thicken the rest of that line, 
and just correct it in that way but definitely don't worry about it the lines can go a little bit thicker in certain areas it's actually better if they're a little bit thicker than if they're a fine line if they're just a fine single line it won't have the quality and detail that um, you would want and that you're aiming for from the, the transfer that you've created so thicker lines are actually better so any mistakes cover them up with a thicker line and you can see there that now I'm just going over the whole of the font and I've managed to now present on my title page a combination of a stuck down font which is my title here I'm showing that I've got skills in the presentation of a title in a collage style and also a transfer style so I'm able to access more marks because I'm showing more skill okay oh. once you've completed adding your borders and your title the next job is to copy up your statement of intentions onto one centimeter lines in the spaces on your book so the first job is to read your statement and to understand it. So have a look through, um, get an understanding of what your project is all about and ask any questions at that point as well with your teacher. The next job is to use your ruler and in the spaces you're going to create one centimetre line. Now we're going to use our ruler in a particular way which will prevent us from having to draw dots at the side and join those dots up. So we're going to use our ruler and if you have a clear ruler it's best. When you look at the ruler you'll notice that the one centimetre lines next to the numbers um, or the longer lines next to the numbers measure one centimetre. So if you just place the bottom of the number, the bottom of that line onto the line that you've drawn previously you will draw approximately a one centimetre line. It's normally out by just around a millimetre depending on where you've just positioned uh, the actual ruler. So just place that on the line and it's the rule at the line at the bottom of the numbers it measures around a centimeter and just draw those on and you'll have at one centimeter line then using a biro pen try to use a biro not a fine liner at this point um, you'll copy up the information that's written in the boxes on the statement of intention photocopy which looks like this so just start to use your neatest handwriting and just copy up straight onto the one centimetre lines, making sure that you are checking the spelling and constantly reading what it says to gain a really, really clear understanding of the project. Really simple way of cutting and backing up your image is to just use the straight lines that are on the paper, so the box that you've worked inside of, just cut slightly to the edge of that, leaving a thin white border and cut in as neatly as you possibly can. That will give the illusion that you've backed it in white paper and really set off the image that you're presenting. And this will be backed on black paper and then positioned in place in the space that you've got left. Now remember what I've taught you before about making sure that you always add your glue to the back of the image leaning on the table and not on your book and that will make sure that you don't get any of those grey marks or any of the, the glue sticking to other pages as well. So just make sure you're sticking to the corners, so corner to corner and that will mean that you don't have to cut out quite as many of the sides and just neatly cut the edge. So you'll see once this is cut out you'll have a thin black line, a white border and then a black border as well. So this is an easy way of presenting and backing your work and it looks really neat and really effective. Next you're going to prepare your titles for the thought shower page. So the best thing to do is to work at the bottom part of this uh, worksheet that's been printed out for you and cut as straight a line as you possibly can. So using the line at the edge of the paper to help mirror a straight line. If you struggle with straight lines, then please um, experiment drawing these on with a pencil and a ruler. And make sure that you're following your health and safety um, guidance by using scissors. So when you're using your scissors, open them right up and press all the way down, moving your scissors along the paper. 
please try to stop yourself from cutting with small movements like this and open up your scissors to get long uh, cut areas from the paper so that you've got a really clean straight cut and do that three times so that you've cut all of the titles out now the way that you cut and present your titles can be different from other people and it can be slightly different from this video um, you can do this process where you cut them straight either side and this is as straight as you possibly can using a wide open scissor to help you cut a straight line and cut right across and you can then rip the edges to get a really nice texture you can do that either side so that's one way of cutting them out or you could experiment cutting around the letters I've seen this on some of the title page and it looks very effective um, this could be a theme within your book so you could cut around your titles and end up with a shape which mirrors the letters that you've got within the words that are going to be on your thought shower or you can cut out and if you struggle to create very straight lines you could rip all of the sides of your title and have that as part of your theme as well so you could have ripped edges maybe they're curved at the sides and ripped straight top and bottom so there are lots of different processes that you can follow um, and it's worth discussing them with your teacher and finding out which is best for you. So once you've cut out your title and you're happy with it, now this is the one I'll demonstrate first because this is the one that you'll see in the example sketchbook. You add glue to the back of the title, making sure once again you are leaning on the table and not on the inside of your book. And you will stick a straight edge to a straight edge. And that will mean that this top line here, you don't need to cut out. You can keep that straight. And then you will follow the straight line of the white paper with the title on that you've just stuck down. So follow that straight line. And again, rip the edges, mirroring the ripped edge that you've just uh, ripped on the title and creating a frame. Now these frames can be uh, presented on black and you can use black paper, brown paper, any of the sugar papers that are in your class pack, um, any papers that you like to create your backed images but the best thing to do is to always make sure that they have some black paper on them as well because they do really stand out uh, really well from the background of your sketchbook pages. It gives a really really nice effect um, as you are presenting everything together on those sketchbook pages. Again, trim the edges so you get a nice frame. So on this one I've chosen a grey paper and a black paper and what I'm achieving is a really nice frame around my title uh, that will work brilliantly with my handwriting on my thought shower and any images that I use. So I have that one there. Uh, that's with the straight edges and ripped edges. You'll repeat that same process for the next two titles, but you might switch the colours over, uh, you might keep them in the same order, that choice is yours. You always remember that you add the glue onto the back of the title, leaning on the table and not on your sketchbook. You might, for this one now, decide that actually you're going to use straight edges rather than the curved lines showing the shapes of the letter forms. Again, glue on the back of the paper, leaning on the table, not your sketchbook, and sticking straight edges to straight edges. So the design of your Thought Shower titles is entirely up to you. These are three examples of how they could look. So straight and ripped edges, uh, working around the font, and then finally with a ripped edge as well, so you will add the glue on top of the table you will then present onto your paper and for this one you'll rip the edges again so if you struggle with your scissors or you want to get this really kind of uh, rough edge you can actually rip around the font and create a really nice textured edge as well um, now what I would say is that you select one of these 
uh, ways of presenting your title and you stick with it. Do not try and use lots and lots of different styles in, on your Thought Shower page. Just pick one and stick with it for all of the titles. And there you'll have a really, really effective uh, Thought Shower page with all the titles presented in the same way. So select one of these and I'll show all three of them one more time. So it'll either be the ripped edges like I'm creating right now, ripping around the image and creating uh, a ripped title. You might cut around and then experiment with straight edges, or you might add straight and ripped edges like the example sketchbook. So have a go and be creative.